We're in the 1% though. That goes from north to south in a single day. That's epic. Check this out, guys. Look at this sick view. Are you ready? Guys, check out the new Cashmobile. Look at this thing. That. What's up, everybody? It's Triple P. How you guys doing? That is the new ride that we've got to work with for our geocaching videos moving forward. We're gonna try and track down three three caches in this video. Um, it is a gorgeous March day. And we're out here at this park. And um, yeah, we're gonna try and track them all down for everybody. I know I survived the winter with all those great winter videos. If you haven't seen any of those, go check them all out. And uh, we're off and running. Here we go. All right, guys, cache number one is a two difficulty two and a half terrain and it is a regular size container spring is just around the just around the corner this place is gorgeous look at those blue skies blue skies for days check out this view across the field with the sun poking out that's gorgeous it's beautiful scenery do all kinds of snow videos and that was amazing that was so fun. Now we're out here in the gorgeous weather. Looks like things have kind of made a turn for the better. And uh, St. Patrick's Day is, uh, is coming up. So I hope everybody celebrates St. Patrick's Day or, you know, has a good time. We're gonna go this way around the corner and stay on the trail until we get to that first cache that we're doing. There's even some people out here hiking today, doing the same thing I'm doing, enjoying this beautiful weather. Can't say I'm not doing the same. Hopefully you guys will let me know your best geocaching accomplishment of 2022 so far. Let me know what you guys have done or accomplished, or maybe you solved a really tough puzzle, you found a really tricky multi, you found an evil cache. Just let me know. Let me know in the comments below your best 2022 milestone this so far first three months in we're at like 46 feet 43 feet 38 feet there's 24 is a huge humongous log we're at 18 ha ha yes there it is yes oh my goodness look at that yeah yeah baby yes And there is a log sheet and a bunch of random stuff. Cool. One for one. Let's go get the next one. You know what? I was actually considering doing a massive snow video in this park, but I held off because I wasn't really sure I was going to be able to find the caches in the snow. That one specifically, that would have been very difficult to be buried under, you know, a foot of snow inside of a hollow log. That would have been tough. And we're headed to the next cache on our list. And um, you know what? It is a um, one and a half difficulty, two terrain, and um, it's a small container. So this will be our second unique DT rating of the video. That's cool. I like that kind of stuff. You know, the most uh, different DT combinations in a day. Head down to Texas, and there is a geo art down there that is all reverse where goes. So be sure to solve them all before you get down there. And if memory serves me right, there's about, I want to say like 76 or 78 different DT combinations that you can find. Every cache is a different rating so be sure to check that out if you have not already i'll put a gc code in the description for you guys uh, in case you're interested in finding that geo art here we go the sun is to our back which makes this awesome view that much cooler <laughs> man 
Man, what a beautiful place. I'm enjoying myself immensely. Alright friends, so if you don't know anything about me or you've never seen any of my other videos, I'm a, uh, I'm a geocacher and I have all kinds of videos about, you know, different tutorials on my channel. I've got, um, you know, the Cache of the Week series, I've got the Weekend Adventure series, and one of the big things I do, I feature lonely caches on my channel quite a bit. If you're a new viewer and you're watching this for the first time, I would definitely consider Hopefully you consider hitting that subscribe button because that will help me um, get a little bit closer uh, to that 200 sub goal that's going to be coming up here in the near future. I'll respond to anything you put on there more than likely. I'll get back to you and uh, I'm knowledgeable and helpful so just let me know and uh, it could work out for everybody. Okay we are 149 feet away until we get to our first second stop of the video. That there's a big rock, a bunch of trees, that cache, this cache has got to be in this area. I mean, we are right at it. This is a pristine, perfect spot for a geocache. I'm going to go check over by that big rock. Does any of this move? That doesn't move. Nothing over there. What about on this side? Now, let's check behind the big rock. Just don't hit my head. Oh my gosh, how is it not in here? Does this stuff move? No, that doesn't move. What, what about under here? No, nothing there. Is it like, are you laughing at me? Is it above me? Okay, so I walked around and a change of scenery or a change of angles found the cache. I spy a micro cache in the woods. Right there. Pill bottle. Got it. Yes. Two, four, two, one to go. Look at this view. Uh, never pass up an opportunity at a scenic view. Friends, we have one cash left in the video. We're two for two, one left to go, and this has a different rating than the other two. I believe, let me look it up, it is a dun, 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 dun. it is a one difficulty one terrain small size cache so far i am the first to find in 2022 yes nobody's come before me and i love that i love being the first person to find a cache of the new year okay let's get to the final spot and let's knock out our one one difficulty hide and wrap up with a W. This looks like some kind of obstacle course and or possibly a spot for people to have like a bonfire. You know, if something ever catches your eye, just stop and take a look, you know? You may never be back to see that ever again. Like maybe this stump has what I'm looking for. I'm at seven feet inside this stump. There it is. All right, look at this size, yes. Wow, dude, that is awesome. And it's got a 100 on it. Hey, you know what? A green container for St. Patrick's Day. That doesn't get any better than that. How cool is that? That's gonna get a favorite point from me. And inside the green container is oh, a bunch of rust. What is this? A bag of trinkets, a bubble wand, a straw, and uh, what looks to be like possibly a log book. Yes, three for three in this video. It doesn't get any better than that. All right, guys, this is a really cool TP right here. It's right where I'm going to wrap up this weekend and adventure. If you're not a geocaching with Triple P subscriber yet, I hope you consider subscribing so you can help me reach my sub goal of 180 subs. I'll see you guys out on the trail. Have a good one.